Hi, my name's Drew. Uh, welcome to today's uh, Road to Easter devotion. It's from the Gospel of Luke, um, chapter 22, verses 47 to 52, and it's about Jesus' betrayal. Let me share it with you. While he was speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, no more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priest, the officers of the temple guard and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. I wonder if, like me, you can't get away from how intense and how tragic this event was. This is the hour when darkness reigns. Jesus knows what's going to happen uh, as he's taken away from, from his friends, the disciples. Um, a very powerful moment. And what struck me was that Jesus, as God, didn't have to go through with it. He could have chosen something else, but he chose God's will. And this was the beginning of those very difficult events where he was subsequently taken, brutally tortured, crucified um, and died for our sins. And I was looking into this uh, reading and what I would share with you, and I just couldn't get away from the character of Judas, a character who's been um, reviled for what he'd done. And I, I wondered, why did Judas choose this action? Why did he betray his friend? Um, who he was identifying with a kiss, as friends do? Did he feel he could do things his own way? Did he want to manipulate the situation for his own ends? Or what he thought he was doing was right? And it reminded me that when we don't do God's will, we can't expect things to end up just the way we want them. When we choose God's will over our own, when we lean into his word and what he's asking or prompting us to do, that's when we glorify God. How differently it could have been if, Jesus, uh, if Judas had chose God's will. But it's part of the story. And although it's a very dark part of the story, I'm reminded when I read on that a few days later, our Lord and Saviour uh, rises from the grave and gives us all hope for this life and for eternity. Thank you for listening today. Um, I hope some of it resonated with you and I wish you a blessed rest of your day and week. Stay safe and thank you.